welcome. Today I wanted to share a few moments with you in meditation, share uh, a little bit of my path and my journey and who I am and how I felt myself on my path. I've been called many names, Sunflower, Sunflower Buddha, Sunflower High Priestess of Love, and now they call me Seven, the Ancestor. This has been a journey that I started during my college years. I was taking world religion in college, and in the world religion, we came across Buddhism. And at that time, I was 23. I was already on my path of Christianity. I studied the Christian Bible three times from the beginning to the end. I read it to its entirety. My path into walking into the path of a Buddha came out of Christianity. I found the scriptures in Christianity initially, um, eye-opening in Ecclesiastics, the Proverbs, the Songs of Solomon. And so what happened was on my journey, I became so engrossed with studying the Bible that, like I said, I read it three times for entirety, from the beginning to the end. Of course, I found so many contradictions and like many have been told that you have to read it with the right mind. Well, what happened during my journey of reading Christian Bibles and Christianity, I saw that the contradictions were so gross and nothing could be further away from love. It was somewhere in the passage where it talked so much about Jesus was love and then later we started learning that there was a sense of if you accepted Jesus, you could go to heaven and if not, those that chose not wouldn't get heaven. It was going to be a conditional type of love. That is the beginning and the end of my journey and when I stopped professing Christianity. It went against everything that I knew inside of me that was love. That love was unconditional. It was just like each breath you take. Take a deep breath in. Take it in. Hold it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly release. Each deep breath in conscious awareness you start learning that there's there's unconditionality in breath. No matter what you've done in your life, each breath in consciousness, when we relax ourselves and restore ourselves, this is as unconditional as love as you'll ever get in life, is when you meet yourself. Take that deep breath in. Hold it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Take another deep breath. And slowly release. In these deep focused breaths of awareness, we're connecting ourselves with all of our molecular DNA, all of our ancestors that ever came before us. And each of these breaths, these breaths align us and balance us with the greater universe. So in conscious focused breathing, I found myself, I found myself on a journey of breath work. And so 
for me and leaving Christianity and denouncing Jesus Christ as my personal savior was just that. I no longer needed personal saviors in my life. Many think as Buddhists that we worship Buddha, we do not. Buddha means those awake and all those awake are to be called Buddha. And so on this path, I'm gonna be sharing some things. If you ever wanna stop by, visit my channel. You might catch me meditating or sharing something quickly. Um, you know, as far as, you know, my take on life. You all have a take on life. Mine is not no more special than anyone else. It's just that I'm gonna be open enough to share with you what my takes on life is all about. But if you ever wanna stop by, come by my page, sit down, take a five minute meditation, a breath work with me, to clear your mind, to clear your conscience. I'm going to be here for that. So, in closing, I want you to know that breath work is pretty much what this channel is going to be about. And also getting in tune with yourself. Not in tune with me, because if each one of us get in tune with ourselves, we'll connect with each other. And that's the beauty about breath work. And that's the unconditional love that's in breath work. And that's the unconditional love I want to share with you. There is no incomplete, incorrect breaths. As long as you're conscious and you're focused on each breath and you learn to control your breathing, you're going to be able to set the direction and the path of your life. And we'll be able to connect together. Namaste. Namaste.